Hi everyone, Bradley here. Many of us work with people external to our organization, like contractors, freelancers, or part-time team members. At money.com, we call them guests. Guests can collaborate with your team on projects, but will have limited access to what they can see and do on the account. Guests can only be invited to shareable boards. Think of this as a meeting room. Let's say we need to invite a contractor to help us with this project. Go to the shareable board. Click on the guest and subscriber button on the upper right side. On the left side, you may invite existing team members in your account. This is where they can get access to this board. Otherwise, it will be hidden. We may invite a guest on the right side. Type in their email. Click on invite a new team member by email and click on invite. You're all set. Your guests can only see the specific shareable boards they're invited to. For example, they can have access to the inbox, my week, and the relevant shareable boards. Now that they're on the platform, let's talk about what they can do on this shareable board. Your guests can immediately hop on into your workflow. They can add items on the board. This will help them track projects they're working on. They may update any of the columns by default too. They can assign themselves in the people column to show ownership. They can let you know about their progress through the status column. They may also update the date column to track deadlines. They may also add another column. Click on new, hover over column, click on more columns. This is the column center. We have 30 plus different kinds to build the board just the way you want. Let's add the auto number column to count each of our projects. Now that our guests are interacting with the team on the board, they can also communicate with anyone else subscribed to the board. Imagine not having back and forth via email. They may click on an item, click on write an update. This is where they can type in their message. They can add files and GIFs related to the project. Last but not least, they may push notifications by tagging at everyone on this board or at all guests on this board or specific team members. When tagged, the person will receive a bail notification. Quick note, guests cannot be part of a team created on monday.com, so in this case, they cannot add mention a team. Additionally, they may add board views. What if the guest wants to view the board based on a calendar view? Click on new, hover over view, and click on calendar. Now they may visualize our deadline. Let's talk about what guests can do. Having default restrictions are important. If you need more restrictions, check out our permissions video. A guest can't add broadcast view. A guest can't set board permissions, change board type, delete nor archive the board. They can't add other team members nor guests. They cannot add a dashboard. They do not have access to any admin settings. Essentially, guests allow us to have the benefits of collaborating on a board. This will let us work with guests external to our teams with ease. Be sure to click on the link to get more resources on how to get started with monday.com.